Have you ever been sitting down in a seat and you just got this incredible urge to play sports? Well, today's your lucky day because we are doing a sports seat retrofit on my E90. Now, I'm not really sure why BMW calls these sports seats. I mean, yeah, the side bolsters are thicker, but it's still not a racing seat. It doesn't have the pass through for a racing harness. They're just as heavy, if not heavier, than the original seats that came on the car, but they do look cool and they are a lot more comfortable than the factory seats. So it's funny how things work out because I wasn't even really looking for these seats, but the guy who bought my VMRs a couple months ago, he was also looking to buy my old suspension. And he said, hey, I've got a pair of sports seats if you wanna do a trade plus some cash for the seats he'd be happy to do it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put these in the car. It's really not that hard. I already did the uh, passenger side off camera so I could figure out how it works. You only need a couple tools. So yeah, let's go ahead and put these in. The only tools that you need to do this job are a T50 Torx, a very small flathead screwdriver, and a 10 millimeter socket to disconnect the battery if you can find one. So of course we're going to start by taking the old seat out of the car and it's just held in with four T50 bolts around the bottom of the seat rail. So uh, don't disconnect your battery just yet because you need to be able to move the seat forward and backward to be able to reach those bolts. So let's go ahead and take those out. So at this point, the only thing that's holding the seat in the car is that wiring harness. And for this, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. Now, can you do it without disconnecting the battery? Probably, but knowing my luck, something would go wrong. So we're just gonna unplug that really quick and then we will get on with this harness. So now we're gonna go underneath the seat here. And there's a black plastic clip that holds that harness into the car. You can just use a screwdriver to pry that out. And now for the hard part of this project. So I guess I should have done this first, but it doesn't really matter. The seat belt is still connected to the seat. Uh, you just plop, pop off that plastic cover on the bottom and there's yet another T50 Torx. You'll see that bolt, just unscrew that and uh, you'll be on your way. So my friend who sold me these seats has a lot of experience with these sort of interior swaps and just E90s in general. And he said that the seat belt electronics can be really finicky on these cars. And uh, whenever you're changing seats, you always want to keep your original seat belt. You don't want to like mix and match uh, the seat belt buckles. So I'm going to show you how to take it off this seat and we're going to move it on to the new one. At the base of the buckle, you're going to find one more T50 Torx. Buckle harness is clipped on the side here. You can just pull that off. 
and then it's also zip tied into the main harness so I'm just very carefully gonna cut that zip tie off so that I can swap these harnesses. So looking down at the front of the harness, this L-shaped one here is for the seatbelt. So we're gonna unclip these and then we can pull that out from this main harness. Now looking at the bottom side of the new seat, we're just gonna feed this wire through and plug it in. It can only go in one way, so you can't really mess this up. Well, here we go. So the seats are really heavy. They're slippery from different products being used on them and there's not really a good place to grab them, but uh, eventually you'll wiggle it in and you'll be good. Now we're just reattaching the seatbelt. So I just reinstalled the two bolts on the back of the seat. At this point, we're gonna plug the battery back in. That way I can move the seat uh, back so that I can put the front bolts in. If you ever disconnect your battery and then it gives you this message with the 4x4 and it says like all wheel drive malfunction, all you have to do is turn your steering wheel all the way to the right to full lock and then turn it all the way the other way. And just like that, it resets itself. All right, so the front sport seats are in. Uh, everything seems to be working so far as far as like the front and back motion, the recline, uh, the heated portion of the seat works, which is good. The only thing that doesn't work is like the inflatable side bolsters. And we think that, that just might be a coating issue since that wasn't like native to this car. Uh, but until we figure that out, they feel fine right now. Like the way that the bolsters are inflated, uh, it's not like uncomfortable to drive until we figure that out. But anyway, Evan, thank you for the seats. Honestly, these weren't even really on my radar as far as something that I wanted to do. But when a deal pops up locally that happens to be, you know, kind of a rare part and it's like the right color and everything for the car, I couldn't say no. I couldn't pass them up and I'm really happy that I got these. They are really comfortable, uh, much, much better than the ones that came on the car. Now, normally I'd put links in the description to go buy them, but something like a seat like this, you can't really buy it at a store or like order online. Uh, it's kind of something that you have to find locally, find someone that's selling them. I'm going to check eBay if I can find some for sale on there. I will put a link down in the description if you want to check it out. Now, if you're watching this like a year after the fact, that link's probably not going to work. But uh, yeah, I'll put them in there. This project was not very hard at all. Like I said, there's only three tools that you need. It'll take you maybe an hour at most to put these in. So yeah, that is the uh, BMW E90 Sport Seat Conversion. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.